Yeah. What's up, everybody? How y'all doing today, my good people? You know what I'm saying? I hope y'all taking care of y'all stuff today. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? But y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, and comment, baby. Smack that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me. Keep God first, baby, over everything. I know my good people. I'm going to let the video take off. I'm going to let this light catch you by the end, baby. Let's go. I ain't myself. I ain't been myself since I heard it, man. She was commanded. And it's also with you. Make sure it's safe there because he's got him and the girl there. So as Matthew describes, he and Kimberly arrived at Daniel's home at about 8.30 or 9 p.m. Right. Look at him. He, he, look, he pulling up like he got some problems. Daniel was in the garage at this point after having a barbecue with his family. And there's actually a ring video of this from earlier in the day. What happened earlier? <laughs> Her thinking he's gonna kill her husband. 
And he looked over, and that's all I needed, man. I got behind that car, I grabbed my fire, and I came over the hood, and I just started shooting. And he scurried towards the front of the house. I didn't go after him. I said, kid, get in the car, let's go. And I should have jumped in the driver's seat. Who was, who was in the driver's seat? Her. She was in the driver's seat? Yes, she drove. She drove you both there? Yes, and she jumped in the driver's seat. I jumped in the passenger seat the same way we arrived. Throughout all this, Daniel's sister, who lives in a neighboring home, heard the gunshots and runs over to help. Daniel's sister then calls 911 and can be heard describing the scene. What follows is a major response from law enforcement, and most of it is caught on ring cam. Damn. Over here. Yeah, get you guys. Multiple people inside the home. Daniel, his pregnant fiance, his sister, her two daughters, and both of Daniel's parents. In this video, you can hear Daniel's father yelling to first responders. Hey, I know he's in the phone. He's going to be shot. I know. Be shot in the leg. He doesn't matter. Don't be shot in the air. You know, the best we hear. No, why aren't you coming over here? The floor. I'm going to get to you. 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 Around this time, we see Daniel's parents leave their home with their hands up. Why build a business? This crazy it's boy. Off, it's off it. Daniel's sister and her daughters come out too. Mm. Okay, is that okay? Okay. They got all this. Oh, the little. Reported from the home by EMS on a stretcher. No, my boy still so. You got three going down. Do you want me to go down some? Sure. All right. Okay. okay. Three going down. See you. Yeah. 
go down some? Sure. All right. How's that? Okay. All right, I'm going to take him straight off the porch, guys. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold up. You're old. Damn, they got the street. Investigators discuss the scene and possible evidence. Yeah, we're good. Let them know I'm the over here that the house is secure. Please. Yeah, there's a couple more guns in the house. They even discussed the ring doorbell video we're showing you right now. Let me all have a ring he discusses during his police interview. He's got cameras? He's got cameras? He's got cameras? Does he? It sounded uh, like my boy, he was on the uh, It sounded like he was coming over there for the shootout. You feel me? It sounded like he come over there for the shootout. I don't know why the dude shot back. But the reason why the dude shot back, because he stuck his hand out the passenger side when she was bagging back, he shot. So that's why the dude shot and hit the dude while I was in the car with him, hit her in the neck. You feel me? But my understanding, right? That's karma. And I don't care what nobody say, I don't care if somebody get mad. That's karma, because I'm going to tell you something. You ain't got no reason cheating, she ain't got no reason cheating. Y'all ain't got no business grabbing the fence. And now one of y'all. You know what I'm saying? So, this what goes back down to like, hey, she died, right? She died cheating. She died doing what she doing. And now, she got to stand before God on judgment day. You feel me? If she ain't got a life right, and evidently she didn't because she was going over there for the break, break it off. So, at the mix of it, when she going for the break it all, you feel me? A dude went over there. You know what I'm saying? He thought he was getting away with it. And one thing you'll never do. I don't understand why he come to another man's spot. To me, that's disrespectful. So you go over there with her. Let me get this right now. If I'm, if I'm seeing it, what I was seeing. So you tell me you go over there with her. Cause she can break it off, right? So, you ain't had no business going over there with her for the break it off. What you should have did, you should have tell her to drop it up at the corner. You know what I'm saying? Let her go on up there. You hear? You ain't had to be right there for she can see if she gonna break it off with him, see if she lying to touch him. Guess what? If you gotta go through all that, man, that should tell you something. That mean, if she ain't gonna be real with you right then and there, you feel me? Just leave her alone. You feel what I'm saying? It's like, because if you got to stand there for see if she break it off, we don't quite sure y'all had that conversation probably before y'all dipped over there at the man's spot anyway. You feel me? Y'all had that conversation anyway. You feel me? But you took it in your mind to the roll with her because she probably asked you to roll with her. You probably say, you know what? I'm going over there for to make sure he don't bother you. Either I'm going over there for to make sure that you tell him that you don't want it no more. You feel me? That's the only way I'm going to believe you. Because right now, you was over there cheating, laying down with it, splacking him. You feel saying, whoop the whoop. You know what I'm saying? Y'all playing married life. and You know what I'm saying? Y'all was pity patting with each other. You feel what I'm saying? Somebody was poking somebody. You know what I'm saying? Somebody was splacking. You hear me? So, But you know what I'm saying, man? But that's what I'm giving. You know what I'm saying? But at the same time, that's dude fault, too. I'm going to tell you something. I think he's trying to wig himself up out of this, right? But I think he's still going to get charged with that murder. I think he's trying to come from for not getting charged. That's why he's acting crazy because he figured like it's going to be the heat of the moment. And that's what's going to lie to him not to press charges against him. You feel me? But you came in with that tool. You knew what you was going to do. But he said the dude fired first. You feel me? But when they was bagging out, 
This is how the police going to get him. When they were bagging out, he should never reach for that gun. He should never fire that gun from that passionate side. And his wife would never got murdered. So, of course, they might blame it on him because guess what? He escalated that. If they just would have bagged out, as long as him and the wife was a-okay because they kept going. You ain't had no been to find that gun, man, from that passionate side. So that would made that dude fire back at y'all. And she got hit in the neck. You feel me? Let's just say this here, my friend, to get off. You know what I'm saying, man? Me, I'll never, ever go to a woman high. I don't care if I'm married to her. And she, she would never do, right? If she tell me she finna break it all with him, me, I'm the type of dude like this. Go ahead. That's how I am. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep throwing you that rope. As long as you want it, how long you want that rope? I'm gonna give it to you. You feel me? I'm gonna give it to you till it stop. You know what I'm saying? So if you can do that there, nine times out of ten, you know what you're doing. Why? Go with with that woman, knowing that she was stepping behind your back. And I'm quite sure that, that he said both of them was doing it. I think I heard him say that when it first came. I'm not mistaken. But anyway, my good people, uh, man, this uh, this is like, I'm not myself, y'all. I'm not going to lie to y'all, you feel me? But you know what I'm saying? On this note, my good people, I'm going to scratch that. You dig what I'm saying? That's all I got for y'all. You know what I'm saying, man? Uh, you know, y'all know what to do. You know what I'm saying? Like, share, comment, baby. Smash that doorbell for me, baby. You heard me? Keep God first, baby. Over everything. On this note, my good people, I'm gone from y'all, baby. I'm gone. Get